I'm Linda Kemp, and I'd like to show you an alternative approach to painting. To paint a landscape in the negative, I'll be building overlapping bands of color that will be laid down from the bottom of the paper to the top. That is to say, I'll start in the foreground and work back. The landscape forms that are closest are painted first. Two layers of grasses and green trees appear, not because I've painted them, but rather because I've painted around them. Now we're going to free ourselves up, so I've got my apron on all ready to get started. I'm going to prepare this underpainting. It starts out the same way as my wet and wet underpainting, but this time I'll be doing something a little bit different. I call it a dry on wet. There we go. Thoroughly wet. I'll be producing strips of color first that will represent grasses in the foreground. Now while this is resting, I'll put out my colors. Let's start out with a little bit of raw umber, some raw sienna, a little bit of cobalt blue, cerulean blue, a touch of rose violet. I'm putting out several colors here and well, let's go with a little bit of cad orange. Now the brush that I'm going to be working with is quite unusual for a watercolor brush. Uh, you may not be familiar with this type. It looks more like an oil painter's brush. Very stiff hair and I won't be adding a lot of water to it. In fact in the beginning stages I won't add any at all. So when I talk about dry on wet, the paint isn't really dry but it's very very heavy. No extra water added. And I'm going to work this paint into the fibers of the brush. Pick up a little bit of some cerulean, a little bit of cobalt. So I'm not over stirring here and you can see it's very heavy paint and I'm going to be applying the brush strokes in a, in a downward movement to start to get some grass texture. If I have too much water in the brush or on the paper, I won't be able to maintain nice grass like texture. Now if I want to change colors, rather than rinsing my brush out and dunking it in the water, I just work it onto my apron so you'll see me do that several times. Now I have the first band of grasses in but I want to beat down the color to create an edge. So this is how we do it. I take the color and I pound it onto the paper so it's actually flicking the water that's on the surface of the paper and creating a nice little edge. What I'm doing is cutting out the edge of the first row of grass. So I'm not painting the grass, I'm painting around it or cutting out a descriptive edge. I want to make sure that I change the direction of the brush so that it moves in different ways. color that I'm putting down now I'll be able to use to develop some trees and bushes in the background. Alright, I'm going to put this underpainting aside and let it dry and then when it is I'll start carrying on with building the layers and making the shapes. Mm -hmm. 